Hey, good morning. Chris Brandt, the Beef Shaman with you, and I'm back on San Diego Bay, ready for a great day of fishing. Come along, let's have fun. fast. I wanted to do some different stuff today. It's a second cast, four pound test with a rooster tail. I mean, this is a trout lure. Little one, but uh, get the first one. So I came with very limited uh, amount of lures today, but a varied amount of Normally I'm coming with like a million different boxes and jammed to the gills. But today, I want to try the things I haven't used out here on the bay yet. The tide is ripping this morning. Just what I thought would happen. Number two. All right. Can't argue with this view either, can you? Well, that was a pretty instant change. Better spotty. All right. <laughs> oh. As soon as I pick that up. Love fishing the light line. two fish. A lot of times when you find these bodies, they are stacked up, so hit it, hit it, hit it. Hmm. I think I bite my peanut butter and jelly sandwich and get nailed. Man. Put that little gulp bait on like I I try not to. I try to go with other things and then 
end up missing the action as soon as I put it back on. Oh. Different fish. Uh. All right. Nice Corvina. Here we go, vampire fish. Woohoo! This one is about oh, 19 inches. Jumped right out of my hand, but they can be kind of delicate, so I wanted to get that one back in the water. So if you haven't seen before, this is an eighth ounce jig head, like a little Roadrunner style. And uh, I'm using the three inch gulp minnow this thing destroys it destroys it always on the bay six pound test watch this oh, missed it there it is I told you Granted, it's not a monster fish, but it's still fun. Water skiing. We'll come back to water skiing later on. We're killing it. We're killing it. There we go. I'm trying to get bites of my peanut butter and jelly sandwich in, but I'm just catching too many darn fish. See? There we go. This does not act like a bass. Corbina. Another one, a little smaller this time, but that's okay. You know what, I've never caught on one of these, but I think I, I should, is a bonefish out here. Now there are bonefish in San Diego Bay. They came in on an El Nino year, years ago. Now we got a like, resident population. I mentioned water skiing earlier, right? I got a water skiing surprise ahead. There we go. Well, with our water skier down, I saw something last night at the store. I was getting some bread to make sandwiches. And I found the water ski fight from modern times, and I've never heard of this beer. It's a West Coast IPA with Galaxy and Citra. 
you're go if you're into peaches and ripe citrus, this right here is gonna have be your jam. Okay, sounds great. Six percent, so light. Good morning beverage. Water ski fight. Got our water skiers right there. It does have that uh, stone fruit and citrus jam to it. Pretty easy drinking. It is a West Coast, which means it's got a little bit more bitterness, but I'm always good with that. You guys know that. I love modern times. Good stuff. 40 IBUs. That's the bitterness units. Mm. Delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. So I have seen two sea turtles this morning um, up on top. And I think that's maybe what I saw last time I was out here swimming around down below me. Oh, another fish. chunker cause a water ski fight by throwing this at the boat what is a water ski fight I mean is it a thing so two casts two fish oh. three casts String going, three casts, three fish. Nineteen. Five casts, four fish. There we go. Oh, oh, back. Number 20. I remember being off uh, this area and my buddy Brad getting a uh, four pound sand bass on a spinner bait back here. Biggest sand bass I've ever seen come out of the bay. I think it was a beast. The summertime Saturday and I have the bay to myself. <laughs> it's amazing. back in that transition area again. Went from seven to eight. See a little seam of water coming through here with a little bit more eel grass floating on top. It seemed, it seemed to like the seam. like 10 minutes. Twenty-five. When I do run into you guys out here, um, whether it's on the bay or on the lakes or wherever, I do hear a lot of what's the beer of the day. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I was in the grocery store last night and I, I like I said earlier, I got a couple things and I found something that I hadn't seen before. This is the Green Flash. 20 year anniversary. Double IPA, double dry hopped. You know, I don't even know if I've done Green Flash on the videos before, but Green Flash is another staple brewery out of San Diego that's always been incredible. Um, 
you know a lot of the breweries have gone through changes over the years green flash is no different so just had some of their stuff the other day and when i saw this i'm like well it's got a little fishing boat on there a lot of san diego stuff oh look there's the coronado bridge and i'm like well hey what better beer to have when i'm out here on san diego so this is fuego all right let's give this a try so you know that you crack it open and the smell i get it just smells kind of like a brewery in here in san diego you know you hops and malt and yeast and it's not all that remarkable in smell you know what it tastes exactly like it smells it's uh it's got the hops it's got a decent malt backbone um pretty good mouthfeel a little bit of sweetness to it um it says to celebrate our 20th anniversary brewed an incredible double dry hop double ipa that we believe is pure fuego like fire um i i don't know that fire is the word that comes to mind for this it's a it's a good beer let's see if it grows on me it's got a little bit more malt than i was expecting and a little bit more sweetness excited about this than what it tastes like. But let's see if it grows on. Oh. Nailed it. So the beer is an 8.5% ABV. Much more malty than I was expecting. Not that it's not that being malty is bad. Um I had preconceived ideas. Uh, 30 Spotted Bay Bass, 2 Corvina. The fishing is freaking unreal today. Oh, there we go. dry spell there. Number 32. Here we go. So it's now noon. And uh, I'm kind of heading back in, and, and I'm okay with that. Many days I'll spend all day out here, and enjoy every minute of it. And I have enjoyed every minute of it today, and I needed this. Got 32 Spotted Bay Bass and two Corvina. Had two great beers. And now I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna have fun. We're not a bridge right here. What could I ask for? Chris Brandt, the Beef Shaman, saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.